Hey YouTube, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I've got a review on the Sara Monik V Mic which is available for $119.95. I will have the link in the description below to check this microphone out. Now this is a phantom powered microphone. It uses two AA batteries to power the unit and on the back here you have a lot of different controls which is something that I really loved about this microphone. So currently I am using the Rode Video Micro and that's the audio that you're hearing right now. In a second I will swap over to this. I just want to show you the build of this. Now it is quite a hefty unit and I guess it depends on what you're using this for but the video micro is a lot more condensed, lightweight and smaller. This is a powerhouse. This is quite large. The cool thing about this microphone here is that it comes with two 3.5 millimeter jacks. Now the first one is the mic jack which just plugs straight into your camera and then the one below it is actually a headphone jack which is really handy. So a lot of cameras out there, the lower end ones, don't actually have a headphone jack. So the fact that this comes with a built-in headphone jack so you can hear the audio back is a big plus. That was something that I loved about this unit here. You have 0 decibels, minus 10 decibels, or plus 20 decibels. Then you have the power on and off. We have two different buttons down the bottom here and this is where this unit really excelled. We have a high frequency boost which is plus 6 decibels and then we have a high pass filter which is 150 hertz and that's basically to attune signals with frequencies lower than 150 hertz and it can be used to remove rumble or other low frequency noises while recording which is very handy. We are now testing out the V-Mic audio and before I jump into it I want to let you guys know that we are set at zero decibels currently and I just wanted to mention so the high pass filter and the high frequency boost they are both specifically designed to increase the dialogue audio. So that basically removes all the white noise, all the background noise, all of those hisses and whatnot. And that's something that they're quoting um, has been improved with these two features. So we'll have to test them out in a second. But we also have the shock mount system, which provides isolation from vibration and mechanical noise. We are now testing out plus 20 decibels. I'm talking at about the same rate, pace and tone as I was just before. Um, and we'll have to see, I can notice that my microphone is peaking a lot more than it was when it was on zero decibels. So I guess this would be for a bit more of a distant shot. So I can see I'm peaking, I'm hitting the red zones quite a lot, um, but this is plus 20 decibels. We are now testing minus 10 decibels and I can see that the audio isn't peaking at all it's in the first quarter now which is expected I guess this is more for a close-up shot so I'm probably about a meter away from the camera still talking at about the same pace tone and everything um, same kind of volume as I have always been talking and I can see that it's not even close to halfway which would be handy in post-production you can pull that up or like I mentioned if you're really close to the camera then this is also another really cool feature. We are now testing out the high pass filter and this filter is 150 hertz and it says here that it removes rumble or other low frequency noises while recording. So to the left and right hand side of the microphone I have two lights so they could be producing some sort of uh, droning noise or rumbling noise. Hopefully this feature here will actually remove that. So I'd love to see a substantial kind of improvement and we won't see until obviously I upload the video or listen to the audio in a second. Um, but from the test that I've done, this has actually improved the audio, which is a really cool feature. It's just a button that you tap. I've also got it set to zero decibels. I don't know if it overrides that, but it's just set to the neutral zero decibels, and I've set it up with the high pass filter. When I look at the peaking, it's probably about halfway now, so this looks like the perfect kind of range for dialogue between two actors. We are now testing out the high frequency boost, which is plus six decibels. I also noticed that on the back, I can push in both buttons at the same time, so that means you can have the high pass filter as well as the high frequency boost activated at the same time. There was no like mechanism that where I push one in the other one would come out. You could push both of them in and have them both activated at the same time. I'm still set to zero decibels and when I look at the peaking right now I've noticed that it's still in the midpoint. I'm still talking the same volume, pace, tone, all of that stuff um, and it's still sitting in the midpoint so it looks like these two modes are perfect for dialogue between actors. So this is a true test of all the features. Um, I've also tested out the headphone output and that's perfect. Uh, no delay or anything, it sounds great. Everything connects really well, the build is fantastic, the shock mount 
works really well. I've tested out and about filming with a lot of movement. Listening back to the audio that we captured from the Saramonic V mic, I wasn't overly impressed to be honest with you. There was a lot of hissing, uh, it wasn't the most crisp sound that I've ever heard. It was actually quite faded, there wasn't really any dynamic range to the sound and it just didn't really wow me too much. But certain modes did sound pretty good and overall it's a decent microphone but for a little bit cheaper you can pick up the Video Micro, you don't have all of those features but it is the best microphone that I've ever used and that's from like $80 up to $200. That microphone is awesome and I don't know, overall the Saramonic V mic is decent and if you're looking for something to pick up that actually has the headphone capability and has these other features on the back as well then I guess check it out it's a pretty decent microphone guys anyway let me know what you think in the comments below also make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out